Hi, I'm Phil. I'm from MPAQ and I want to talk about the Regional Aged Care Direction number six. Hi Phil, thanks for talking to us and our members. Like currently there's a mandate saying that aged care workers have to be vaccinated by the 17th of September. Is that correct? That's what the government's put out, that we need to have 100% vaccination of all aged care workers by the 17th of September. All right, so does this suggest that we could have a potential for an aged care crisis in our facilities? Well, we have had a look at the statistics and currently 126 regional aged care facilities have less than 70% of their staff vaccinated. Oh, so what you're saying that in less than three weeks, there's going to be a potential shutdowns of some regional aged care facilities? <laughs> So what will happen, and we've talked to our aged care members and they've spoken to us and said that anything less than 75% of uh, workforce and they'll have to close the doors. That means there'll be nowhere for our nannies and poppies to go and then we don't know what will happen because the government hasn't given us any plans. So what is the government's stance on this bill? Uh, the government hasn't said any plan of what's gonna happen but at the, at the very least, this will be a crisis because if they close the doors and shut the lights, who's going to look after our nannies and poppies? So after the 17th of September, we could be facing a critical workforce shortage in our aged care facilities. Yes, we'll have an absolute shortage and there will be nowhere to house our elderly because there will be no facility available for them. And what does the NPAQ suggest could fix this? Well, since we haven't got a plan from the government, NPAQ suggests that we need to first abolish the deadline because there's no point having a deadline if you've got no staff. Secondly, we need to make sure our nannies and poppies are adequately vaccinated and to ensure we get them protected. And then another thing we need to do is if they're gonna have this deadline, extend it so people have the opportunity to get the vaccination that they require. Thanks, Phil. It's certainly for frightening times for our most vulnerable. Yes, it is a scary time. And I hope you as members get in touch with your aged care facility and say, what are you doing? Because with 126 nursing homes that are falling under the essential levels there is going to be a crisis if we don't do something now.